did anyone ever say you can't play rugby because it's a boy sport? Yeah, I've had so many doubters to say that you shouldn't be playing rugby. Um, it's a male dominated sport. You will never be able to make a career out of it. It will never be uh, for women. It is not a woman's game. But for me, I don't care what those kind of people say. It makes me want to achieve more. It makes me want to break down so many more barriers. And I know that me and my teammates are trying to do that and trying to make it a worldwide sport that anyone can play, whether you're male or female, because for us, rugby is for everyone. We come from a rugby nation, so everyone's been around rugby their whole life. And there's always going to be a stereotype that uh, men are above women in sport, but if we can keep doing what we're doing and keep showing that we're just as good as the men and we work just as hard, then people are going to turn heads and say, oh, well, they're actually on equal playing fields. 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 It's been a dream of mine for a really long time now. Uh, I remember talking to a girl back at high school and um, I was saying how amazing it would be to compete at the Olympics. I remember being back in Manawatu, two, trialling out, um, being really skinny and nervous and I don't know whether I'm going to make it, but also having that excitement of if I put a lot of effort in then I'm going to be able to go to Rio and now that's a dream come true and we're not not far out before we um, head away. I think of me standing alongside um, 11 of my sisters on the podium, um, definitely at the top spot with a gold, getting the gold medal handed to you um, and then seeing my family. I suppose it's giving me goosebumps and stuff at the moment, um, but seeing my family in the crowd and knowing that I suppose you've put in so much effort to do what you do but also to make you, your, you, your family and your country proud. I'm sure that uh, when they reflect on this in the future, they'll be very proud to have won the silver medal at the Olympic Games. It just probably hurts tonight that they didn't claim the gold. At the times that we have lost, we've had to go a little bit deeper into our environment, which has been, it's been amazing, because sometimes when you win all the time, you just kind of brush over the, those little things, whereas the times that we've lost as a leadership group, I think we've got our best learnings from losses. The girls are massively excited to get to Tokyo. There's been a few of us that went to Rio, so to be able to go back to an Olympic Games will be another dream come true. Sio Hirini, wow. Even the name alone's grown a worldwide reputation. Sarah is one of the greatest leaders in the sport today. There's not many people in this world that I would follow blindly into any battle. Sarah Hidney is one of those people. One of the things that we saw at the Olympics was being able to perform under unimaginable emotional tragedy. Someone who has given everything, absolutely everything, to the jersey, even through the toughest times of her life. You know, with Ronnie, her mum passing, she still turned up to training, led this team to the Olympics to win gold. Just her heart, her courage, her selflessness, her legacy will long live after she's left the black jersey. I have no doubt about that. And a touch and a nation that has scaled every other peak in rugby now has the one prize that was missing. Yes! <laughs> Sarah Hirani, I finally get to say to you, Olympic gold medalist. What is going through your mind at the moment? There's so much going through my mind. I'm just uh, so happy. I love you, Mum. I love you so much. How warm was for you? And I am just so grateful to be a part of the best team in the world. Um, man, our team has been through a lot in five years and we're bringing home a gold medal for New Zealand and I could not be more proud. Sarah Hidani, captain of the Black Ferns <laughs> Olympic gold medalist, congratulations. One of our coaches is pretty good at surfing and he took me out a couple of camps before I'd moved up here and once I'd ridden my first wave I was like nah, so I brought a board and then we moved up the year after and I've been out um, quite a few times ever since. I suppose it's just 
gets my head away from rugby. Um, I don't have to focus on the training or leading or anything like that. It's just me, the wave and the surfboard and I'm able to just yeah, clear my head and, and be Sarah, I suppose. For me, the most important people who keep inspiring me are my friends and family, uh, the ones that are always at home sending me messages. I'm FaceTiming them constantly because I know that they're going to help me. Whether they give me good stuff or bad, I know that it's um, to help me with my game. me, I always try and look for a porridge option. Obviously it's um, slow burning energy so I know it's going to keep me, um, keep me neutralised throughout the day. Uh, and then I also love eggs on toast, whether it's scrambled, poached, um, fried, it doesn't worry me. And also a couple of pieces of bread at the start of the day always helps me um, with the three games as well. Do you think anyone can make it big time, even if they're from a little city? Hell yeah. I know that you can make it big time from wherever you live, wherever you live around the world, in New Zealand or wherever. For me, I grew up in a small town, a little country village that no one from there had, um, I suppose, had been to an Olympic Games or a Commonwealth Games, but I knew that I had a passion for rugby uh, and a passion for sevens and nothing was going to stop me. No barriers, no obstacles. Um, my family were a huge supportive of that. Um, and then also, I just I cling to people who are going to help me and make me better. And I think that's why what's helped me uh, achieve my goals from such a small town. What is your advice to young girls wanting to pursue a career in rugby? For me, whatever career you want to go in, whatever passion you have, whatever dream you want to achieve, I know it's highly possible. For me, I had a little dream of wanting to play rugby as a professional career. And luckily enough for me, it became an Olympic sport and I was able to live this dream. I know that if you're passionate about it, you're hardworking, you will do everything you possibly can to achieve that dream. So keep at it, doesn't matter if you get negative vibes, just keep pushing through those barriers because you're going to achieve it anyway.